Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be creating with Bloom Box, which is a really fun and very different sort of card making subscription box from Fun Stampers Journey, which you can now get on spellbinders.com. And it is just filled with things that you can create with. And there's this booklet, and this is sort of like the PS de resistance of the kit and what makes it different. So it has step-by-step -step instructions on how to create these cards that designers from the company have created with the stamp set and materials included in the box. It also comes with some envelopes so that you can send your creations. And it has a full-size stamp set. This is the Beautiful Friendship stamp set. I will show you in just a minute how to go ahead and take these out just to store them, but it also comes with these four kits, which has every single thing down to embellishments with it included so that you can create the cards in the booklet. Now, obviously you don't have to create the cards in the booklet and I'm going to switch mine up a little tiny bit today, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to follow the instructions. So I'm going to ha go ahead and just take these off of the foam that they're in and I'm going to place them onto the back of that very heavy plastic piece and then I'm going to open my booklet to the card that I will be creating. I absolutely love this card but I am going to switch it up just a tiny bit by adding some different colors. You can switch it up totally or not at all. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and start stamping my floral uh, images and I am going to stamp the same stamps used in the card. So I'm using sauna for a bunch of my flowers and I really love that these flowers sort of droop down and that the center stamp is different. So I will go ahead or separate. So I will go ahead and stamp those after, but right now I'm using sauna by Catherine Pooler to stamp my yellow flowers. And I am going to use rose petals, which is a really muted pink color from the spa collection from, uh, Catherine Puller, and I am going to use that color just to bring in a little bit more. I thought it went really well with the colored cardstock that is included in the set. I'm then going to use Over Coffee to stamp my center piece of those flowers. And I think these are called cone flowers, if I'm not mistaken, but I might be. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these out. I don't worry or take too much time on fussy cutting them. They're actually really simple to fussy cut. I just cut around it and then up into those grooves where the petals are. And I think it looks pretty good once it's all fussy cut out. I am now going to start constructing my card front and they provided a piece of cardstock to act as the card front. So I'm using the stamp Life is Better with Friends, the sentiment that is included in the stamp set, and I am stamping that in icing on the cake. I am then going to go ahead and follow the instructions in the booklet and stamp my stems and leaves directly onto my card front. So this is going to be a multi-dimensional card. My flowers and the petals themselves are going to be three-dimensional and the stems and the leaves are going to be one-dimensional and right onto the cardstock. So I am going ahead and stamping all of those elements in grass skirt. Now I'm going to focus on the splatter effect that is on the card in the booklet. So I'm just taking my Fine Tech watercolor palette with the Mica watercolors and using that brown bronze color just to splatter that all over my card front. I am using some foam squares or foam tape squares to adhere the tops of my flowers with the petals to my card front. Now you'll see that I go ahead and move this around a little bit. I try not ever to apply too much pressure to something that I am adhering with foam tape until I am absolutely sure that that is exactly where I want it to be because foam tape can be a bit forgiving in that you can pull it up a little bit if you don't push down too hard. So now I am going ahead and scoring my colored cardstock, which is also my base. 
at four and a quarter because it is cut at five and a half and I am adhering my card front with some glue. This gives me a little bit more wiggle room just to get it perfectly centered um, and it allows even uh, an even amount of the card base shown on either side which is very important when you have a colored card base. Now for the glitter that they provided, I'm using glossy accents in the very center of my flowers on the little uh, brown portions. And then I'm going to just go ahead and pour some of that glitter into my hand and then I will sprinkle it all over my card front and hopefully it will only stick to uh, the pieces or the places that I put the glossy accents. And I try to hone in a bit to those pieces, uh, but I know that glitter is very, uh, it just moves around a lot. So I think I do an okay job. It gets right there in the center. And here is my completed card. In this photo, you can't really see the sparkle. You can a little bit there on the right uh, yellow flower, but they are very sparkly. And I love that the center of these flowers just gives that little flare. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about bloom box. I think that this box would be great for beginners or people who are just really interested in learning new techniques. Thank you so much for stopping by today. All of the products that I use are linked in the description as well as my blog and Instagram. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you very soon. Thanks. Bye.